Alex, let's move on to the next one. Yeah. This is my famous. Oh, famous. Okay, here we go. Chicken and eggplant <laughs> curry. Eggplant. I had this in, in Thailand a few years ago. It was oh. the most amazing thing and I replicate it all the time. It's beautiful. Lebanese eggplant, mm -hmm. all right? Easy to chop, easy to, easy to like handle. I um, wouldn't have actually thought to put mm, eggplant in curries. So oh, this, is, this will change your life. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So while we're chopping and prepping some ingredients, yes. I'm going to get you to cook some of that yes. chicken. So remember the chicken strips that we had that were pre-cut? Yep. So we're saving time on cutting mm -hmm. the chicken. Uh, so pop, pop some in. of that. Yeah, pop some yeah. of that and start frying so that off. Some olive oil in here, don't got you? some olive spray in olive the spray. pan already. And I'm going to chop up this eggplant. So ends off. Now the way I chop this to make it quick and easy is as small as possible. So I chop, chop it half lengthways, okay, half the other way, and then I want a nice fine dice on the eggplant so it cooks really easy. And would you agree that eggplant is an underrated vegetable? Eggplant is an underrated vegetable. Absolutely. Uh, it's delicious. It's... Uh, a different taste. I think people just don't know how to use it. Don't know how to use it. It's not something that we commonly eat with in no. Australia, um, but we do have access to them. So I think give it, give it a go. And they're so delicious. So delicious. And so in a dish like this, I'm amazing. Excited. I didn't think to do that. So we've got our little fine chopped eggplant, little tiny squares. That'll make it cook really easy and quickly. So we're going to pop that in there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just let that soften for a second. Okay. To prep some other ingredients, we're gonna do some spring onions. So I want some nice, chunky, centimeter bits of spring onion, which we're gonna pop in in a second. Now, you could add any veggies you want in here. We'll put a little bit of carrot in there as well, just because we can, and we've got it. color, that's what we like. color. And I like nice, kind of chunky bits of carrot in my curries. You can do it however you like. Are you leaving um, the skin on as well? Leaving the skin on the carrots, yep. Skin on the carrots. Now, the base, we're going to use a jarred paste. These are, again, these are underrated. Yeah, I because think so Because when you look at the ingredients, you've got water, lemongrass, garlic, salt, dried red chilli, galangal, uh, coriander seed, shrimp paste, citrus peel, Cumin. All good ingredients. It's clean. All clean ingredients. It's done for you. Um, and they're super delicious. Super strong and amazing. And they've already split them into the kind of curries that you want exactly. to Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So these are really handy. So I'm going to pop some of that in there. Just be careful. It's going to start to get some, some uh, steam. Oh, it smells happening. really yeah. good. Yeah. So I just use jar recommendation, which is half a jar in that one. Okay. And we're going to fry that off for a second. Just leave it for a second. Yeah, just, just let that dry off for a second. And what you'll notice is the liquid, the oil will start to seep out of the spices. It'll start to separate. Okay, okay. And that's what we want. Beautiful. Basically, all we need to do now, we've got some coconut milk. Yeah. Okay, some good quality coconut milk. Get some good quality stuff. So we're going to pop that in in a second. Now, eggplant is a bit of a funny ingredient. I'm surprised by it, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. It does take a while to cook. Okay, because right. I'm going to be super honest with you, I've never cooked it like that. You've never cooked it like that. Yeah. So, it does take a while to cook. If you've ever cooked with eggplant, you'll notice that it does take a while to, to soften. Um, that's why I'm starting it in the pan with the chicken first, and it will kind of boil away in the yes. coconut milk. Okay, cool. okay, so it'll boil away and cook it down and soften uh, while it's in there. And so you're just using coconut milk, say, you're not adding cream as well, just milk? Just coconut milk. Nice. It doesn't, it definitely doesn't need No, I like milk. that. Because yeah, a lot of like people would use both, but I like this. Yeah, and this, this, this will have some real oomph to it. Um, it'll, be, it'll be really uh, quite a rich curry. Mm. Um, and the eggplant adds that yeah, richness as well. Absolutely. So that is going to go in mm -hmm. the pan there. Easy as that. It smells so good. It smells beautiful. It's gorgeous. And but I, you could, sorry, no, no, you, know, you could use any kind of different one of these for this, couldn't you? Red curry, Kind of take curry, any direction you wanted to. Yellow curry. Yeah. The, the one I had in Thailand was a uh, Penang style curry. Okay. Um, 
So that's what we're So that's what I use, yeah, just because yeah. it reminds me, it takes me back mm. to being in Karabi. It's beautiful. Oh, and beautiful. that's a bit of a favourite anyway, Penang. Oh, I'm yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Gonna put some spring onions in there. Okay, pop those in there, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let that come up to the boil. Okay. Alright, so I want it on a nice hard boil. Um, and it will reduce a little bit. But That's what I'm after. And it will soften the egg a little bit. Okay. So literally all we need to do now is wait for that to happen, and then we'll come back and we'll put it all together. Amazing. Okay. We're back. We're back. So curry's cooked beautifully. So okay. How long, how long did you leave that to kind of simmer? Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes. So in the meantime, chop up some cherry tomatoes. I'm going to pop those in there because I love cherry tomatoes in curry. Um, so it adds that nice little bit of freshness and sweetness and pop of flavour. Yep. So you're going to pop those cherry tomatoes in there. Now, we haven't got anything to serve this with today, um, but we could serve this with endless, yeah. endless things. Rice, vermicelli noodles. Any kind of noodles, really. With that beautiful really? vegetable pasta yeah. that we had before. Um, we could do it with cauliflower rice. You could actually even add just like beans and different things and pour it on top. It doesn't need to be. You could just do cabbage. Yeah. And just yeah, pop it on that. You could you can have it like a soup. You can have it like a soup. You, to, yeah. you could you dip it. bread into it. Do whatever you like. It's, <laughs> the possibilities like. are endless. But um, yeah, look, there's so many different mm. options to make this a really beautiful family meal. Um, so let's serve it up. Yeah. Now good. let's just recap what we did. Yeah. Because it's been a while since <laughs> the proceedings. Uh, chicken in the pan mm -hmm. with the eggplant, mm -hmm. really finely diced eggplant. Cook that down for a few minutes just to brown the chicken off. Okay, then we added the curry paste. Yeah. Okay. So we did half, just per jar instructions. If half we went a jar. through half clean, that was right. Absolutely that beautiful. Yeah. Of course, you could try and make your own paste, but we're talking time. We're talking. Yeah. This is very inexpensive, super quick and delicious. And mix everything. Okay. And then it's all right. So you go make yeah. it properly. <laughs> They're the tots. So half a jar of that per instruction. Fry that off for a second. Okay. Then we added in the mm -hmm. coconut milk. Yep. All right, and let that come to the boil. Added in some veggies, we put carob in there, we put some spring onions in there. Of course, you could put bok choy in there, broccoli, capsicum. Eggplant, you, you put eggplant. Eggplant in there to start. Yep. And you could put anything you want in there to make it as you want. Mm. Delicious, all right? Um, and then at the end here, I just chucked in some cherry tomatoes just to wilt them down a little bit. And then that is ready to serve. I'm really excited. Let's serve it up. I've got some spring onions there just to finish garnish. off with some garnish. Coriander, you could put on yeah, there. That would be nice, whatever actually. you like. Vietnamese mm -hmm. mint, you could use anything mm -hmm. that you want. But where's my spoon? Here it is. We are going out. to serve this up, and it's beautiful. Another amazing, quick, midweek, delicious, nourishing it meal. Smells so good. This is like nourishing winter, if I've ever, yeah, if I've ever seen it. Uh, prawns. Yeah, you beef. could add lots of different things in, couldn't you? You could use anything. Sauce. If you're vegetarian, you could put tofu in there. Yeah. Um, there's so many different options with it. It's endless. These rolls are beautiful. They, look like they are. Rolls. I made them myself. <laughs> They're hand filmed. Um, <laughs> you just did that prize during the curry. I, I did yeah, that. Yes, sure. I was bored in the in the, in the <laughs> intermission there, so I, I just whipped that up. Um, beautiful curry. Pop that all the way in there. Okay, and then. You want to put your garnish on? You throw. I'm a bit scared to, to stuff it up. Throw some oh, spring great. onions on there, just to. Bit of crunch, bit of bit freshness. Bit of crunch, bit of freshness. Who doesn't like spring onions? Um, so and yeah, of course, you could put in some herbs. Beautiful. Whatever you like. Or base it with whatever you want. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful, quick chicken so and eggplant penang curry. Yeah, good way to use the eggplants. Oh, yeah, and any veggies you have. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. Yummo, let's do